Hello, welcome to another Dominion 6 Mod Nation Showcase. Today we are taking a look at Middle Age Alley, the Sacred Grove. Uh, some of the fae got exterminated, some disappeared, and some new ones have appeared, but they are more aggressive now. Uh, first, the starting side. It produces two Glamour Gems, one Astral Pearl, and two Nature Gems per turn. The troop lineup is uh, somewhat similar, but there are some significant differences. For example, the Fawns are gone. Instead, we have the Cloricons. They are these small Leprechaun-like dudes with uh, leather armor, clubs and slaps that shrink the target. They are Magic Being with Stealthy, Glamour, Iron Vulnerability, Berserker, Forest Survival and Dark Vision. Yes. They are berserk because they are mostly drunk. Pixies. They have clubs and sleep touch attacks that deal fatigue damage can, that can be negated with magic resistance. They are magic beings with flying, stealthy, iron vulnerability, forest survival and true sight. Pixie archers have dagger, sleep touch and short bow. Also, magic being, flying, stealthy, iron vulnerability, forest survival, true sight. They are they haven't changed since the early age. Sprig and warrior also no well. I lied to you. There are some changes. They got some armor, the dark wood cuirass. So they got some some protection at least. But they still are magic being, stealthy, glamour, iron vulnerability, forest survival. And they have Sprig and Spears with weak poison. Sprig and Berserkers. They have Berserker, Sprig and Axe that uh, also has weak poison attached to it. And they also have gotten Darkwood Kiras armor. So they are better than their early age uh, counterparts. Sprig and Defender also got some armor. And overall, they became better. We also have Chloricon Riders. These drunk Chloricons uh, with light lens and slap riding a sheep. They still are Berserk and Glamour, but the sheep obviously is not Glamour and has a headbutt attack. Seals. They did not change. They decided that armor is for weaklings and they rely on glamour and flight. They can't be recruited in the capital. Now, this is a strict upgrade. Instead of uh, grasshopper riders, now you have locust riders. They have uh, flying and pillager. So they are much much more mobile and the riders also got the dark wood kiras this is the locust itself that has pillager too they are sacred and can only be recruited in the capital in non fort forest you can still recruit thorns who are equipped with poison daggers and poison bows susceptible to fire resistant to poison and all the other face stuff the commanders. Oh, by the way, the forts uh, are. They build early age forts, not middle age forts. Par Darik has a dagger and a slap. That's basically a Cloricon, a Cloricon scout with fortune teller. Cloricon Infil infiltrator uh, has berserk, assassin, and spy. Uh, it uh, just goes into a wine cellar, gets drunk, listens to stuff, and sometimes just breaks a bottle and shanks somebody, which is very appropriate since uh, now the assassinations can happen in a tavern, so you can have an actual bar brawl. Spriggan Captain is a uh, Spriggan commander with leadership 100 and uh, he also gained a Darkwood Kiras. 
Pixie Noble did not gain anything. That's still an Astro 1, Holy 1 mage uh, with Stealthy, Crusade, Sleep Touch and all that stuff. It's a flyer. Do not forget that. Trigon Air Mage. Exactly the same. Air 2. And 30% chance to get another level of Air Magic. Sprigan Druid. Also the same. Earth 1 Nature 2. Guaranteed Earth Nature Random. And Beastmaster 2. The Locust Knight. Has a retinue of 1d6 giant locusts. Nature 1 Glamour 2 Holy 1 with a guaranteed Nature Glamour Random and a cost of 3 recruitment points. Also has a Darkwood Piras and Pillager. Pixie Queen has a retinue of uh, 2d6 Pixies, Astral 3, Glamour 2, Holy 2, guaranteed Astral Nature Glamour Random and a 20% uh, Nature Glamour Random. In non fort Forest you can summon, I mean, recruit Thorn Chieftains who are, well, Thorns but Commanders and there are also two Coastal Commanders. Serene is a Water 1 Mage with Amphibian, Magic Being, Stealthy and Iron Vulnerability and Child of the Sea is a Water 2 with a Rare Water Random, Amphibian, Animal O2, Magic Being, Stealthy, Iron Vulnerability and Gift of Water Breathing 30. Uh, let's check out the summons. Some of them uh, uh, are very similar to the early age, but there are some new ones as well. First, in Conjuration 2 we have Contact Cloud Sprites. That's an Air 2 spell. For 3 gems you summon 12 cloud sprites, who are exactly like the pixies but are ethereal. This spell has not uh, changed from the early age. In Conjuration 4 you can cast Contact Sylvan Knights, that's a nature 3 gem, I mean nature 3 spell for 6 nature gems, you summon 3 sylvan knights. These are the nymph riders. Uh, who have sacred magic being poison resistance stealthy glamour iron vulnerability forest survival recuperation disease resistance and skilled rider they have lands and magic swords and the fairy unicorn itself also is sacred and is a smart mount 100 in conjuration 6 you can cast contact ocean strider that's a water 3 spell for 14 gems you summon one Ocean Strider Commander. That's this huge orca-like being with size 8, 70 hit points, 25 strength, 18 magic resistance. It's a commander that can lead only 50 normal troops and 60 magic troops. It's a water 1 mage with amphibian cold resistance sailing. Max size 6, 220 size points. Vision 50 and Gift of Water Breathing. In Enchantment 3 you can cast Animate Topiary Guardians. That's a Nature 2 spell for 4 gems. You summon 3 plus Topiary Guardians. Uh, you summon random ones. There is a Boar Topiary Guardian who has a Gore attack. Or Amphibian, Blunt Resistant, Pierce Resistant, Susceptible to Fire, Poison Resistant, Magic Being, Need Not Eat, Trample, Mindless, Forest Survival. The Lion, Topiary Guardian, with the same stuff but two attacks. And the Triceratops, Topiary Guardian, who also has Trample. The Lion does not have Trample, and this one has Gore and Claw. Obviously this is the best one, but it's all random. In Conjuration 7 you can cast Call Spirit of the Land. That's a Nature 4 spell. For 22 gems you summon one Spirit of the Land. Uh, that's a shape-shifting commander. He has uh, four elemental manifestations. In its Earth form, 
uh, it doesn't shapeshift in combat, you just uh, shapeshift it uh, on the map. Because, uh, well, it depends on what kind of form you want at the moment. So it's flexible. In the Earth form, it's an Earth 2 mage with amphibian, poison resistant, magic beam, can animate, need not eat, trample, uh, iron vulnerability, patrol bonus, and blind. In the water form, it's a water 2 mage with 3 crush attacks, amphibian slash, blunt pierce resistant, fire resistant, poison resistant, magic beam, can animate, need not eat, iron vulnerability, patrol bonus, blind. In the air form, it's an air 2 mage with shock resistance, poison resistance, ethereal, trample, flying, spirit form, patrol bonus, storm power and storm immunity. And in the fire form, it's a fire 2 mage with fire resistance, uh, cold uh, vulnerability, poison resistance, heat or ethereal, spirit form, fire shield, fire power. So that's quite a flexible summon. We also have some heroes. First one is a Sea Mystic. Um, Marinsetta is a Water 3 Mage with Amphibian O2, Cold Resistance, Magic Being, Stealthy, Iron Vulnerability, Healer 1, and Gift of Water Breathing 50. The Acanthus is a. Is it a multi hero? Yes, that's a multi hero, I think. Uh, water 2 mage with amphibian slash blunt pierce resistance, uh, fire resistance, poison resistance, magic being in that it iron vulnerability and blind and has an enchanted sword. And the uh, cursed Cloricon is Bodwin Winkle, who has a light lance and lap. Wait, why does it. Why is his name here? Shouldn't it say cursed Cloricon? That's wrong. That's a death 2 mage. The only death mage in your nation. Magic being stealthy, glamour, iron vulnerability, berserker, forest survival, dark vision, causes unrest, death curse, skilled rider. And he rides a black sheep. We also have the same two national items from the early age. Noble Decree is a construction 1 item, uh, requires Astral 1, increase your magic leadership by 40. A Fairy Ring is a construction 3 item, requires Glamour 3, Astral 1, decrease your mundane command uh, by 20 and increase your magic leadership by 80, gives you a rating of 2 Sylphs and is cursed. Uh, the Pretenders, we only have 2 of them now. The Fairy Dragon is the same, a Glamour 2 Dragon with Fear, Fire Resistance, Flying, Iron Vulnerability, True Sight, Inept Smith, Inept Researcher, by the way, Inept Researcher 4, not 8, like it's normal for the Dragons, Magic Power 1, Far Caster, uh, Dragon Master, and a Dragon Fire Attack, and the Sylph Queen, uh, who is a Nature 1, Glamour 1 Mage, Magic Beam, Flying, Stealthy, Glamour, Iron Vulnerability, Forest Survival, Supply Bonus, True Sight, Ambidextrous, and uh, Dominion Monster Summoner. It summons Sylphs. And that is it. I also think this is a fun nation to play, so you may want to give it a shot to annoy other players. And next time we are taking a look at Late Age Ali. See you then!